Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex. Um, coming to you with a little video. I had actually already recorded something um, a couple days ago, but had a little bit more time to kind of think about it. And I thought I'd maybe just give this another shot. So over the last week, almost, uh, my channel grew from 62 subs to just a little over 7,000 last time I looked. Uh, and one of my videos, got over 100,000 views, which is incredible. So thank you to all you guys. The thing that's been kind of bugging me and I've applied it to the situations with the RTX 3080s, the PlayStation 5s, the Xbox Series X, all of these launches, I, I've applied it to that knowingly, but I've unknowingly put myself in the same position with this, this channel. There's all these reports of new 3080 variants from Gigabyte that are like double the VRAM. There's ones from Zotac and EVGA and there's NVIDIA trying to say that they're going to make up for what happened and they're trying to fight bots and all this kind of stuff. And essentially all of this comes down to like everything is just kind of going bad for people who really like technology and gaming right now. And you could take the 3080s and then you go to the PlayStation 5s. That's the same story. PlayStation 5s pre-orders out immediately. Like almost nobody could do it. A few people could. Then the Xbox Series X happened today. Today is the 22nd. You're probably watching this in the future where nobody could get a pre-order in. And a couple people did. I can tell that there's a lot of people who have the same fear is me and that's the fear of missing out which is where you might see that somebody did get their 3080s or somebody might have gotten their pre-order in for the playstation 5 or the xbox or whatever and you you hate that and it's natural to feel that way um i personally initially was very upset that i couldn't get a 3080 either because i've been waiting to get a new graphics cards i have a i have a gtx 1070 right now um but more importantly, I've had the fear of missing out for uploading too. I That rush that I got when I got all those subs and all those views and all that was um, not only exhilarating, but also terrifying because now it was, I felt like I had a need, um, an obligation to make this work. I guess what I'm trying to say guys is just whatever happens with these launches, whatever happens with these pre-orders, with the nvidia side of things the amd side of things try and keep in mind that there's always going to be something better around the corner that you're going to want more there's always going to be something that somebody else has that you don't that you want to feel the same feeling that that person does just try and take a step back and slow it down and just realize that there's more important things in life obviously um it's it's obvious to say that it's one thing to just be conscious of it i guess if that makes sense i was trying to run myself ragged um coming up with ideas on what to do to support this channel and honestly i've come to the realization i don't want to do anything different than what i had intended to do in the first place which is just talk about things that i like to talk about and if people want to come along for the ride then they subscribe and they come along. Um, if they don't want to be here anymore, they unsubscribe and they leave. And that's that's okay too. But these launches have just drove people crazy. And this sudden influx of subs to my channel was driving me crazy. So we're all in the same boat. We all should try and take a, a second to just understand that things are going to be okay. There will be new graphics cards. There might even be better graphics cards in a month than what you were planning on buying right now. Uh, there will be PlayStation 5s, there will be Xboxes, all that kind of stuff. You might just have to wait. The same way you guys shouldn't go out and buy those thousand, two thousand dollar, thirty eighties, and PlayStation 5s on eBay that people have scalped. It's the same thing I need to try to do with this channel. I do love making content. I love talking and sharing my thoughts with people who are interested in hearing them um but at the end of the day i don't get paid from doing this i i just got eligibility to monetize videos 
I'll make maybe 10 bucks a year. I don't know, but I definitely don't make enough to pay my bills to uh, feed myself, to clothe myself, all that kind of stuff. I have a full-time job that I have to do. So I'm not going to let that deter me from making videos, but I'm not going to let the fear of missing out on subscribers and views um, scare me into making content that I don't feel good about. And that's the reason I didn't publish the video that I recorded a few days ago. Um, I want to make genuine stuff. That's the reason I feel a lot of people are here is for the genuine me and not the forced me. So I'm not going to force anything. You guys don't force anything when it comes to buying these products from secondhand eBay sellers who are trying to make a profit off of you guys. From the comments, you guys, most of you are, are got a, I've got a good head on your shoulders, uh, which is good to see. So keep that mentality. As long as the drought might go where you keep checking eBay and Amazon and seeing out of stock everywhere for whatever it is you're looking to buy, just hold out stay strong something else will come out something better might even come out but don't let it break you down and for all the continued support that you guys have gotten me with a crazy amount of encouraging comments i love that and that was a big reason why i didn't want to let anybody down and not publish videos constantly but the truth is i don't i don't have the manpower or the money to do that um it's just me i record this i edit it i put it out myself but I have a full-time job along with that. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it my way. I'm not gonna do it the way that the algorithm uh, scares me into thinking I should do it. So thank you for everybody who's listened to this so far. Thank you for the support. If you wanna stick around and support more, you can subscribe, it doesn't cost anything. Yeah, stay strong guys. Uh, I will try and upload as much as I can with the amount of work that I have to do. Um, but I, I do enjoy reading your guys' comments. I try and reply to everybody that I can. If, uh, if you want to talk with me more, you can reach out to me on Twitter. Twitter's on the, in the description there. I also have a podcast too that I do with my friends on the buddy system. So if you want to listen to more uh, long form talks about life, technology, whatever, you can come join us over there. We upload usually weekly. We're trying to at least. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. That's I, I wanted to redo this video because I wanted to get my point across better that the fear of missing out shouldn't scare you into doing things that you're not comfortable with. Um, that's that's really all I got. So I will uh, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night and take care.